Watford striker Odion Igalo has emerged as one of the most lethal target men in Europe. 2015 saw a prolific return of 30 goals. No one in English football scored more. One of the best years I've ever had. Promoting Watford to the Premier League and uh, it's a great feeling. So everything just worked out perfectly for me and for the team. Whilst false nines and lone strikers have become customary amongst modern forward lines. Beautiful finish by Diego Costa. Premier League defences have struggled to contain Watford's more conventional pairing of Igalo and strike partner Troy Deeney. Since I came to this team, we've been playing with two up front. It's not how you play with two up front, it's how you walk in. I always play close to him because I know playing close to him will give me more advantage of getting loose ball because when it goes up, I go behind and all that. So if you leave two defenders against me and Troy, then you're going to have problems. So now teams started playing three at the back so that to stop us and all that. At the end, we still get our goals because we work extra hard and we utilize every space that come our way. Troy is, uh, is the captain of the team. And sometimes when I see the way he runs in the field, the way he chases the ball, the way he do, it gives me more zeal, more courage to run because you can't see your captain running the way he's running and you won't run. He work hard, he motivates the team. Sometimes you see him, maybe after the ball gone out, he will leave the front, he will go back, start talking to the defenders when the game is going on and all that. So it's a great leader, it's a great captain and a pleasure playing with him. It's a partnership reminiscent of one of the modern game's great duos. Igalo's idols. Dwight Tiok and Nicole, those are great strikers which uh, when I was growing up I was watching how they score goals and all that. So it's, it's really good I'm trying to work out as like them because I know they've scored a lot of goals in their career. As a youngster, Igalo dreamt of emulating his heroes, growing up in humble surroundings in Lagos, Nigeria. It's not really easy, but uh, I thank God. That's why every time I call God in anything I do, people think I'm crazy because I'm not crazy because I know God has been there for me, helping me right from a ghetto, in difficult situation and all that. In Africa, it's not like in Europe, you have everything in the academy and all that. So there you have to buy your football shoes yourself. You have to you buy your water you drink yourself. You have to pay for your transport to go to training, to go to games and all that. And you know, that does not make me a better player. It's my hard work and uh, God's grace that make me to be who I am today. It's been a long journey for Igalo, and if his hard work and good form continue, it might prove difficult to ignore the call from one of Europe's elite clubs. Hello, bro. Yeah. For now, though, the focus is on Watford's trip to Championship Nottingham Forest in round four. So does the striker believe Watford can accommodate an FA Cup run? Every tournament we're playing in, we want to give our best. We have 32 points now, so we're still fighting to get eight more points to, to assure us of safety for Premier League next season. For me, we value the FA Cup the same way we value the, the Premier League. Some, some teams don't win the, uh, the Premier League, but they go to win the FA Cup. It's still a honour for the team. Successful FA Cup runs have proved elusive for Watford, who haven't reached the final since the era of Sir Elton John. I've seen him once when we were playing one home games when we were in championship. So we only greet and say hi after that. Yeah, I've listened to one or two of his music. It's cool. More than 30 years have passed since the iconic chairman watched on as another striker controversially ended the Hornets FA Cup dreams. Many people are going to get angry about the goal, you know, because sometimes you need to protect the keeper and all that. But for me as a striker, <laughs> I would say it's a goal because uh, when the keeper is not holding the ball in his hand, then you, you put it in and it's goal. Because, you know, we striker, we like goals, you know, that's what they pay us for. 30 years is a long time ago, even before I was born, you know. So if the team can push to the final or even to the semi-final, to the final, it would be great for the club, for the fans and everybody around the, this, this team, you know, because uh, uh, FA Cup is one of the big tournaments.